Okay, last bit of practice on Le Chatelier's principle. We've got chemical species and heat and pressure, and we can change all those things and see what it will do. And I'm sure they'll ask about catalysts at some point, and we'll get to say no effect. Indicate the effect. Okay, so heat the equilibrium mixture. If we add heat, the system will want to use up that heat. At the same time, it will have to use up water, or steam, and carbon monoxide and make carbon dioxide and H2. So left side down, right side up, we'd say the the reaction will shift to the right. If we add carbon monoxide to the equilibrium mixture, now there's too much carbon monoxide, so the system will use it up. And it'll use up steam, and it'll use up heat, and it'll make carbon dioxide and hydrogen, so shift to the right again. If we add hydrogen to the equilibrium mixture, now there's too much hydrogen. The system will want to use some of that up. It'll use CO2 at the same time. It'll make heat and water and carbon monoxide. The equilibrium will shift to the left, or the reaction will go to the left, I should say. If we remove carbon dioxide, yoink, oh, and this shouldn't be there anymore. If we remove carbon dioxide, the system will make more. At the same time, it'll have to make hydrogen, and to make those things, it must be using up heat and steam and carbon monoxide. Left down, right up would say the reaction is going to the right. If we had a catalyst, no effect. The position of the equilibrium will be unchanged. If we increase the size of the reaction flask, in other words, we increase its volume, that's like letting off the pressure. The system was under some pressure, and now it's under less. We're allowing it to expand. So it'll go to the side with more moles of gas, but look at this. Two moles of gas on the left, two moles of gas on the right. When you have a tie like that, there's no effect. The system is pressure insensitive. So because it's two to two, there isn't a side the system can go to that's bigger or smaller, so it decides, okay, I just won't care about pressure. Okay, same question. The one little wrinkle here is they give us a reaction, and then they tell us the delta H to see if we remember our thermo. If the delta H is negative, it means our reaction is exothermic, which means, instead of that, I'm just going to say plus heat on the right side here. Now, if we lower the temperature, means we're taking away heat, the system will make ammonia, make heat, consume hydrogen, and consume nitrogen. So the reaction will go to the right. There we go. If we add nitrogen, so now there's too much nitrogen. The system will use up nitrogen, reposing the stress. It'll have to use up hydrogen at the same time, because those are both reactants. It'll make ammonia, and it'll make heat. In other words, the, equal, the reaction will go to the right again. And finally, if we increase pressure, increasing pressure is like a crush. It's trying to make the system go to its smaller side the side with less moles of gas. Here we have 1 plus 3 is 4 moles of gas. On this side, only 2 moles of gas. So increasing the pressure will drive the system to its smaller side because it's getting crushed down. So yet again, that will make the reaction go to the right. OK, for this one, now the delta H is positive, meaning it's endothermic, meaning now our heat's on the left. Now we have heat plus N2. Eh. I'll put it under here just because there's no room anywhere else. So if we lower the temperature, it means we're taking away heat. The system will want to replace that, so it'll produce more heat and more nitrogen and more oxygen. And if it's making left side, it must be consuming right side. So that shifted the system towards the left. 
left side gained. Uh, next one, add nitrogen. I know I erased the heat, but I don't think the other two questions mention it, so I think we can get away with it not being there. We only needed it for question I. If we add nitrogen, now we have too much, the system will consume nitrogen and oxygen and make, ni make nitrogen monoxide. So left side down, right side up, we'd say the reaction goes to the right. And if we increase pressure, that's a crush, we're putting more pressure on it, the system will want to go to its smaller side, but we have two moles of gas here and two moles of gas here, so this system is pressure insensitive. Increasing the pressure will not do anything. <laughs>